Mhm. Yeah. No, you tell the bastards it's ten thousand. That's what it's always been, that's what we're selling it at the gallery for, that's all it's ever going to be. Oh. Hello there. Welcome to a more serious episode of Dave Trippin' today, where we're going to do a little bit of art critique. You know, it's a rare thing when art comes into this world, nay, is manifest in this world, that is above a standard that can blow one's mind. And when I go to my schools, some of these students are so talented that I think the future a next generation will be defined by their ability. Uh, so today we were discussing some of the formal traditions and they were then composing these traditions into art. And I was given priceless pieces when we concluded the session. I, and probably the top students in the whole school presented me with gifts for my attendance, for my presence alone, my amazing presence at the school. And so I thought that we would discuss it, the strengths, perhaps the weaknesses, but overall the, the creative process that goes into creating something as beautiful as what these students create. And uh, I will of course give the Japanese name and in translation afterwards, it's difficult, some things are lost in translation, but I'll give the Japanese name in translation afterwards explain exactly what it means and in some cases it's quite elegant so without further ado I will introduce the first piece the first piece given to me by the students here we are yes you can see it actually has some English text on it uh, this is known as Suburach, Suburashi Okichinko Sushi des, which quite elegantly translates to wonderful big penis sushi. And now let's discuss some of the details that go into such a piece of art. You have here the clearly innuendous piece of sushi, and you can see here what it's discussing as the sushi appears within the piece. It says, Devil's out, fortune in. We can clearly see the fortune that is going into this slightly androgynous character. As you can see here, the nails are suggestive of a woman, but the short hair would suggest otherwise. And you can see here that it is in a strong Japanese tradition that you would have a sort of cheerleader that when you stuff your face with innuendous penis sushi, that you would have a devil cheering you on. Uh, that's just to make sure that you know, you've got you've got a little bit of fire behind you. That you have someone who's really motivating you. You know, we don't we don't run from angels, do we? We we run from devils. So that's what this guy is doing here. He's he's encouraging he's encouraging the innuendous sushi eating. And then we have here. This is sort of like drops of gold, drops of gold. Because when you eat a big piece of penis sushi, that's what falls from the sky is drops of gold and you can often become rich that is actually the the old folk story told in japan it says were you to stuff a huge penis looking piece of sushi into your mouth gold will shower down upon you and in fact they actually it's uh it's known that this is usually the specific amount of gold that you will receive upon stuffing this down your throat as though it were something else so there you are you know this is I would sell it, but I just think time will tell that this has no monetary value really. It's sort of transcendent in that way. It's more something that just needs to be experienced. You couldn't sell it and to trade hands would, would almost devalue its, its true worth. If it could said to be having worth, it's so much more than that really. So that is the first piece, Suburashi Okichinko no Sushi Des. Now the next piece actually as well translates quite elegantly. You'll see here, this is reminiscent of another piece of art. If we can get this close, let's see how we can do it. Yes, here. I'd like to draw your attention here. So, the actual translation of this piece is Otokono no Hito Let me get this right. Otokono no Hito Kuma Buta des, Which translates roughly to man bear pig. As you can see, 
it's sort of a rare yak-like man, bear, pig. And you have here a man who's, who's fluffing the tail. When a, when, a, uh, when a man bear pig is seen in Japan, there's always a tail fluffer. There's always a blue hat that's gone with it as well. And there's always these yak-like horns or talons would be a more appropriate word coming down from the bottom. And then you have a firefighter, timeless as usual. I believe that harkens back to the Meiji period in Japan when fires were fought with water that in fact looked like more fire. And then whenever a man bear pig is seen in the Japanese countryside, because that's where you see them, you also get strange looking babies that will come out of the woods. That's this right here. You get strange wood babies, actually. I don't know if you had, it would be Mori Akachan, that's wood baby, or woods or forest or forest baby as they're popularly known in Japan. And then in the corner you have crazy scientist, and I, I can't tell you the exact translation of that in Japanese. I don't know it, it's beyond my level, but again, this isn't about language, this isn't about speaking, this is about experience, and what do you feel, what do you feel? When you look at the wood of the baby, what do you feel when you see man bear pig and the man who fluffs its tail? You know, I'll tell you what I feel. I feel awe. I feel humbled and I feel grateful that it's not every day that I get these first grade A pieces of art given to me by the students of my school. And I'll probably cry later because that's what I usually do after I receive something like this. I cry. I, uh, I run naked through the streets yelling talking about it, I say, Otokono no Hito Kuma Butades, and I just run up and down the streets, and it's a relief, because that's what I need in this life sometimes, is a relief through art, through man, bear, pig, through big, wonderful sushi penis, and I get that when I came here, you know, and you're not necessarily expecting that when you come out to Japan to, to teach, but it's something you will find, and it's something you will find with your students, so... I hope you too can have this experience and you come out here and you enjoy it as much as I do because art is rare and art of this quality is rare. So safe travels, get out here to Japan and experience it for yourself.